Warning. The pellet guns used in this video run entirely off compressed air. They use no propellant, such as gunpowder, and must not be confused with any form of actual tactical firearm. All air gun shooting in this video is done on my own private shooting range in a clear open area. This video features adult pellet guns intended to be used by people over 18 years of age. All air guns in this video are unmodified and any assembly or disassembly is done for the purpose of maintenance or repair in strict accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. All right, so I told y'all I was going to do a, a video on how to um, um, quiet down the Air Avengers uh, plastic stock. So just so you can hear what, what my complaint is, let me give you a sound check here. Hollow. Hollow. Hollow plastic. Now they do put this in there, it's a piece of styrofoam that's inserted thusly to help to quiet it down. And it's better than having nothing at all. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pack the entire back part of the stock here with kinetic sand, if you can see that. And you say, well, purple, where'd you get purple? I got purple because it was the cheapest. <laughs> that's why. Okay, um, this particular package, I think I spent, I think I got it on eBay for like six bucks. Okay, so all you have to do to access this compartment is remove the two screws that hold the rubber butt pad on. Extract the styrofoam and you're ready to go. Um, the kinetic sand comes in a resealable thing there and in this bag which is not resealable once you open it and start using it I'm trying to get it where y'all can see how it kind of sticks together so what we're going to do is put some of it in here and then we're going to use a special tool magic marker <laughs> to tamp it down to pack it in there okay Now, this isn't going to affect the accuracy of the rifle. It's all about, look at that, how it drips off of there. It's all about user interface here. Um, when you fire this thing, it's a little echoey back here in the, uh, in the stock area. So the purpose of what we're doing here is simply to improve the user interface by quieting down. I'm going to tamp it down in there real hard, real good. It's all about quieting the stock down. So what you hear when you squeeze off a round is you'll hear the spring from the action echoing. Wow, right there where I'm packing it in, it's already substantially substantially better um, you'll hear the spring echoing through the stock as it as it goes as it discharges which is it's not loud loud okay but it's distracting and it and it takes away from the overall experience which is pretty pleasant I will say of uh, shooting the air venturi um, and we want the experience to be, ah, come on, pleasant, right? Having a spring ringing in my ear is not pleasant. Now, you don't have to do this entire stock. Remember, this is going to add weight to the rifle as well. You could do just like half of it and then put the styrofoam insert back in. Or perhaps... hollow out the styrofoam and then uh, do that. That would keep your help to keep your weight down. I'm not real not real hip. One of the things I did like about this rifle was the uh, 
the lightweight so I'm I'm kind of not real hip on adding weight to it however I think that it in this particular instance it will be worthwhile Again, this is called kinetic sand. And if you don't like it, after you add this, I mean, if for whatever reason you're not happy with the results, you can always take it back out. Take it back out and pass it, the uh, substance on to your kids or grandkids to play with. Once again, let's listen to the stock here. Listen. bad not bad at all that's also going to change your uh, center of gravity on the rifle come on out of there get in there so you know it the wooden stock would you know might be a better option for uh, those that are really looking to not have to to do stuff like this to the rifle um, however remember when you're dealing with wood it's porous and um, you know there are, there are issues of scratching and stuff like that whereas I'm almost full here whereas the uh, the plastic stock is pretty much all weather that's one of the things I like about the plastic stock. And if I, as I keep this, I'm actually going to do a little redecorating on this stock. Okay, coming in pretty good. All right, not much left. So it's looking like it may take all of this to complete this project pretty close I'm just gonna take the whole thing that's left there and drop it in there because I can pull it back out if I need to no that's I believe that is going to to be it all right Give a listen to the stock. Let me see about the weight. Not that much more weight. Now what I'm going to do is, I could use a little bit more, but I don't have any more. So what I'm going to do is fold this bag up and tuck in there to keep the sand in place. Just like that, right there. That'll keep it from shifting or moving around. And then we go back with the butt pad. And then the, the uh, screw actually came with the, I'm sorry, not the screw, the Allen wrench comes with the, the rifle, the, the correct size that you need. Now, I was going to rebed this the action in the stock because it was moving around. And what I found was that the rear stock screw by the trigger housing had worked its way loose or was loose from the start. I'm guessing it was loose from the start. And so I tightened that up and that seems to have alleviated that problem. Now the stock wasn't moving a whole bunch. Maybe, I don't know, a couple sixteenths of an inch. But what happens is that it doesn't go back to the same position every time after you cock the rifle. And so you're not getting that repeatability that you need for accuracy. Remember, everything, the, the closer to uh, duplicating every single detail, air pressure, um, wind resistance, humidity, 
where you put your face on the stock, all of that has to be duplicated for each shot to get the utmost in accuracy out of any any type of weapon. Doesn't matter if it's a air rifle or a or a, a center fire rifle or whatever. The way you're looking through the sight, everything has to be duplicated as close to the same as you possibly can. If you fail to do that, then each shot will go to a different location on your target. There's, it's, it's just the way it is. So you guys that are veterans will know just what I'm talking about because uh, it's one of the things we were taught early, early on. Okay, so let's see how this feels now. Very nice. I like it. So the center gravity is not changed a whole, whole lot. It's back right here in front of the trigger guard now. Maybe, let's see. Right there, right about there. All right. Okay, guys, I hope that you found that information useful and um, hope it works for you. I'll uh, be getting back out on the range this week. I have a, a barrel band. A barrel band and some other things to put on here to work with, uh, a pellet probe, and uh, some new gaskets. So let's see how it works. Thanks for watching, guys.